All right, everyone, we had some pretty big changes to the central market recently, and I wanted to take this video as an opportunity to not just explain what these important changes are, but also give you guys a warning here when it comes to listing your expensive items, something you definitely want to be aware of, and uh, you don't want to make a big mistake when it comes to selling an expensive item because that's going to be a really, really costly mistake. So uh, let's get into it here, and I'll also list an expensive item that I was going to sell anyway. It's going to trigger these new changes here. Uh, these new changes are, are not for everything. They're only for specific items that uh, reach this criteria here. And it'll also show you what happens. There's going to be an alert that pops up. Uh, you might have actually seen them. It's kind of like the, uh, you know, the horse alerts or the worker exchange or if you're on NA, like the costume alerts. Except now there's even more of them and it's going to be for a whole bunch of items uh, that are influenced after this change. So I'll list something that'll trigger these new changes and kind of demonstrate some of the things that I'm going to talk about here just so you guys can see exactly uh, when it comes to selling one of these items, what is going to be different now compared to before. So uh, if you go and take a look at the notes, I'm not going to read this word for word. I'm just going to go over the important stuff, but they have a whole separate post here uh, titled notices improvements to the central market. Um, and there's also a bunch of detailed info in the just weekly patch notes that came out after this week's maintenance. So definitely take a look at both. If you really want the, the, extreme details here besides just this video. I will leave a link in the description. So uh, let's get into this one here first, which is the separate post, improvements to the central market. Now, if you guys didn't know last week, it, you actually could not sell certain items over a certain price. Uh, things that were 10 billion plus silver that were in the main awakening or sub weapon category were blocked from being sold on the market. Um, I know because world chat and all the different chats in game were a mess. People weren't able to list things like their Tet Black Star. You are now able to do this again. However, they have all these restrictions now from these new marketplace changes. So um, if you're wondering as well what actually happened to cause that, I, I don't know the ex exact details. I'm not going to really get too into this because it's not super important. Um, but apparently there was something going on with RMTing um, and or market manipulation where people were actually changing price brackets of items unnaturally and uh, it sparked this entire lockdown on these expensive item sales and this major change as well. So I didn't feel like it was a massive deal, but apparently it was a big enough deal for them to go through all these changes. So um, that's about all I really know. Besides that, we've got these new market changes and now we're stuck with them. So uh, furthermore, today's maintenance brought with it improvements to the central market. Details regarding the updates. Uh, change the standard for how prices change for weapons of the same category in the central market as follows. We've updated the central market for prices to vary according to the average sales price of transactions of similar weapons. For example, the sales price of Pen Black Star and Pen, Bla Pen Black Star Longsword and Longbow will not influence each other and the prices will change accordingly. So it won't just be like if you sell one item for one class at max price, it's not just going to influence that one class. It's going to influence all the other classes for that same item type, right? So, you know, you got like Pen Black Star, the example here, you've got the long sword and the long bow. And even though they're different items for different classes, they're still in that same category of being a Pen Black Star weapon. So they share the same bracket. And when one of them sells at max price, it'll, uh, it'll have the potential to move the bracket up for all the different shared Pen Black Stars and other way around. If it sells at minimum, then they will all potentially drop, so. Now, this is the really big one, the one that's really obvious. If you guys have seen the alerts in game, there will not be a 15 minute delay before an item that is above a certain price is purchasable when listed for sale on the central market. Now, I want to go over the other post here that actually um, gives you the details on what is going to trigger those alerts because it had me a little bit confused for a second knowing exactly what would trigger it. When they actually closed the central market for a few days, it looks like they blocked off items 10 billion silver plus but it seems like the alerts um, trigger for items that are 20 billion silver. However, I've seen plenty of items that were listed for less than 20 billion silver trigger an alert. And that's because they have these categories here that if it's in these categories, regardless, it's still going to trigger the alert as well. So, um, all right. So you could sell your stuff again. Let's get back to this. The 15 minute alerts, you probably have seen that when, when you list an item now um, that is in one of these categories, 20 billion plus silver or one of the uh, special items that, that we'll go through the list in detail here. Um, it will not only trigger an alert that everybody can actually see that the item was posted, just like all the different other alerts that you see in game, 
um, but it's going to have a 15 minute delay before it actually gets posted to the market. Now that's a big deal and you guys will see in a little bit here that it's going to influence a lot of different things including pre-orders. Like pre-ordering items now is going to be a bit different and if you guys do pre-order expensive items like be careful you definitely want to proceed with caution after these changes here. A notification message will be displayed to all adventurers to alert everyone that an item of a certain price has been listed and is awaiting the delay before it can be purchased. If an item that you have pre-ordered is listed and is awaiting the delay before it can be purchased, it will appear in a UI at the bottom right of the game screen for you to be able to view the item name and listing time. So be careful if you guys do have those pre-orders, um, you will get an alert, but um, you know obviously it's gonna be different than it was before. Um, and if you are selling an item, you need to keep in mind that earlier, without this change, before this change, um, and this was possibly one of the big problems that caused them to make these changes is, um, it was a lot easier to basically target your buyer. Like it was a lot easier to move an expensive item to a certain account, like basically guaranteed, as long as there weren't a bunch of pre-orders already existing for that item. But you could always do things like change the class of the Black Star item. Like, you know, there were, there were other easy workarounds there. Um, and it was relatively easy to know who was going to be getting your item. But now after this change, there's going to be that alert that goes out to everybody who has the alerts on. There's going to be a 15 minute delay and it's going to be fair game for your item. So, you know, it's, it's going to be riskier now if you're trying to, you know, sell to somebody in specific. And obviously that's a lot of the problems, the controversy recently that caused them to make these changes here. Uh, we believe this item will be all right. This is not really the important stuff here now That was the important stuff in this actual post right here However, there is more details in the actual patch notes and I wanted to go over the important stuff So of course, there's that 20 billion silver number that is going to be uh, for all items But but you will see alerts for items under 20 billion silver and that's because there's all these categories here and again, I'll link this in the description if you want to take a look at it in more detail. Um, but if it's in one of these categories here, uh, all Fallen God, Tet, and Pen accessories uh, of these categories. So Debreka, Lunars, Black Distortions, Ethereal, and Turos. And then basically all of this pen gear in this list. Like I'm not going to read all that. I'll leave it in the description. But that's going to trigger the alert even if it's not set at a price of 20 billion silver or higher. So uh, let's see, all adventures will be alerted by a notification to ensure safer exchange orders for certain items, including those with a set price of 20 billion or higher, uh, uh, placed by waiting adventures at the same price, but not necessarily at max price, will be carried out by not by, will be carried out not by a first come basis, but in random order. So that's another thing important as well, is all these changes were kind of made to make it more difficult to target your buyer, right? So now it's gonna be random uh, when it comes to selling something. So just be careful. Basically the, um, you know, the point here is like, if you're trying to sell to somebody in specific, it's gonna be much more difficult with multiple of these changes after the update. If the item has failed to be listed, the item will return to the central market. You'll need to wait approximately one minute before you are able to relist an item that failed to register after the wait period. If an item you placed uh, a pre-order for is, is in the queue, you'll see a UI displayed at the bottom right of your screen. Once the queue time is over, the item's transaction will be carried out just as before. You can only list one item with the same name and enhancement level and all the items that will be listed regardless of whether they're 20 billion at silver or more. So. Um, now what I wanted to do here is I want to actually list one of these items that's going to trigger this alert here and I, I need to sell this item anyway. It works out really well that I could use it as an example for this video because I was going to sell it anyway. So I thought it would be a good opportunity here and also tell you guys a couple of important warnings here before listing the items yourself, because this definitely caught me off guard. Um, and again, when you're selling expensive items, you don't want to make an expensive mistake. So I'm going to be listing a Griffin helmet. I know people are going to ask about this, so I'll just answer really quickly. The reason I'm not collecting this, I'm really close to another family fame bracket for an extra half a percent silver. So, you know, that's going to make a big difference when it comes to these sales here. So I'm going to get that, get an extra few hundred million before I collect those. Now, uh, I'm going to list this Penn Griffin's helmet here. And as soon as I do, you'll actually see the world, uh, notice 
go out, or you should see it go out. Sometimes there's a little bit of a delay, um, but let's actually, wow, let's list it at max price. Look at that. That's pretty crazy, actually. We're listed at the max, and I'll also point out a couple of other things that happen. So what you'll notice is the alert, but you'll also notice that the item's not going to be in the market right away because there's that 15-minute delay. And the thing that really caught me off guard is, well, let's see if we can actually see it in action here. So yes, sell the Pen Griffin at 19.3. Let's see if we can actually uh, see the alert pop up here in a second. I don't think I've actually seen one in this video. Oh, there it is. Pen Griffin Helmet has been registered to the central market for 19.3 billion. Now I'll also show you guys, um, it is in the chat log as well. So if you guys have your um, chat log to have the market notifications, um, I will just show you there it is right there. Griffin Helmet has been registered to the central market. It gives you the timestamp as well, which is important because remember there's that 15 minute delay. So if you are trying to get something that was listed, uh, you want to keep track of when it was posted uh, because then 15 minutes later, of course, it will actually show up on the market. Now, if we actually go to Griffin Helmets, you will see, obviously, it has not been posted yet. It won't actually be showing up. The market will still show that there is no Griffin Helmet. Uh, it will show up, though, in 15 minutes. And the other important thing is if you actually go to my sell page, this is the one that really freaked me out here for a second because I actually experienced a bug when I first started um, playing that actually caused one of my items to temporarily disappear and it didn't come back for a while later um, and, and I even have voted video footage of it. It was pretty crazy, but notice how it is There's nothing with the Griffin helmet in my cell log currently. It is not there. No Griffin. No scrolling. That's it This is my entire cell log right here and what that means and really important guys What this means is that once you actually list an expensive item you are committed. Like there is the possibility that somebody can snipe that item now because once you list it, you cannot take it back. You cannot change the price. You cannot cancel it. And while you might be able to catch it early before somebody um, snipes it for an expensive item, that's probably not a risk that you really want to take because I'll tell you guys, especially if you're on the NA market and you look at the costumes and how crazy fast some people are at that stuff, like there are some fast snipers. And if you list the right item for the wrong price, I would not want to count on trying to cancel it before somebody can snipe it. So especially considering everyone's going to know exactly when that item is posted and when to expect it to actually pop up on the central market. Now, I'm not going to sit here for 15 minutes, um, but what you'll see in 15 minutes is uh, it'll actually be listed on the central market. You'll be able to go to whatever it is that you just posted. So for this, it'll be a Griffin helmet. It'll be listed at the maximum price, just, just like normal. And then after it is listed, it will indeed show up in the sell page. Um, that freaked me out the first time I did that, but it'll be there. And basically at that point, it acts just like normal. So um, definitely uh, going to take a little bit of time to get used to this. Obviously, uh, you know, we got a lot more world chat alerts to keep an eye out for. I mean, some of you guys might just turn that stuff off, which is, you know, might be smart, honestly. Uh, but nonetheless, um, these are some pretty big changes to very expensive items. And the expensive items are kind of a big deal. Like this game really revolves around, you know, very big items in the billions and billions of silver. So changes when it comes to transferring these items, buying and selling them, like it could have a pretty big impact on the game. So I did think that this central market change was honestly a pretty big deal. We'll kind of have to see how it plays out over time. And I'm actually very curious, guys, what do you think about these changes? I want to open it up to you guys. I don't do this very often. I don't think I have. But at the end of the video here, I want to just ask you guys, like, what do you think of these changes? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you think it was an overreaction? Like, do you know more about the whole deal of what happens? Like, what do you guys think? And I'm really going to take the time to actually go through and read this here because I'm really curious to, uh, to kind of see how people are, are, are going to react over time to this new central market with expensive items being, uh, you know, delayed and alerts sent out and all that. So with that being said, though, that's going to be about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that this helped out and that you were able to learn a little bit. With that being said, um, if you guys did enjoy the video and you want more videos like this in the future, consider dropping a subscribe. It, it really does help out. Also, if you want to toss a quick like, just click a single button takes a quarter of a second and really does mean it more you can imagine more than you can imagine so thank you to all of you guys who do that and feel free to check out the twitch stream where obviously i can get into this stuff in even more detail twitch.tv slash salt i mostly do a bunch of enhancing but uh i love to talk about stuff like this and kind of get into it help people out answer questions all that sort of stuff anyway that's gonna be it guys have a good one take care and until next time